and outside Africa, the United States House has passed a gun control bill that would raise the minimum age to 21 from 18 on purchases of certain firearms and toughen prohibitions on untraceable guns following a shooting in Uvalde, Texas on May the 24th when an 18-year-old shooter killed 19 pupils and two teachers at school. The bill, which passed 223 to 204, is highly unlikely to pass the Senate where it would require the vote of 10 Republicans, as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has opted to give more time for the bipartisan negotiations. The Senate's negotiations, led by Democrat Chris Murphy and Republican John Corning, are also including measures such as upgrades to school security, strengthening mental health services, and doing more to keep guns out of the hands of people who are legally barred from owning them, such as felons. So to those who are a moment of silence is good enough, because you don't have the courage to take a vote to protect the children, I would say your political survival is totally insignificant to the survival of our, compared to the survival of our children. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to come together with a strong I vote on all of the provisions in the bill for the final package. The speaker started by saying this bill is about protecting our kids. That is important. Sure is. That's what she said. Protecting our kids is important. Yes, it is. But this bill doesn't do it. What this bill does is take away Second Amendment rights, God-given rights, protected by our Constitution, from law-abiding American citizens. That's what this legislation does, and that's why we should oppose it. Pursuant to Section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Members will record their votes by electronic device. This will be a five-minute vote. On this vote, the yeas are 223, the nays are 204. The bill is passed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.